Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week. So today is the day where we fly over to Turkey and I'm gonna get my nose done finally. I've wanted to get my nose done for years now and not only just like for cosmetic reasons, it's also because I can't breathe through it. So when I do this, I literally can't get air into my nose. And you can see like that it's kind of lapsed as well and yeah it's kind of crooked and it kind of sways to one side and yeah i kind of want it like a little bit cuter and kind of take off this bump that i have here um not that anything was wrong with my nose but i was like well if i'm gonna fix my breathing i may as well make it a bit cuter to how i kind of want it um so yeah i can't wait there's obviously several reasons why i'm going to get it done in turkey people are like why turkey first of all best doctors ever um, more experience and much cheaper and more affordable as well i'm from new zealand if you guys didn't know but yeah i'll show you obviously the whole experience and everything because i always used to watch these videos whenever i looked up nose surgeries like i always went on youtube and looked them up and it so helped me so yeah we're traveling to the airport right now and we're gonna have a week of like holidaying the whole family's coming with me so we're gonna have a week beforehand that's going to be in a separate vlog so looking forward to it excited nervous though i've never been under anesthetic and that's one thing that kind of freaks me out and i don't know what my pain tolerance is going to be like i've never broken a bone never had an accident or anything so like i don't know what i'm going to be like so we'll see also one more thing if you guys have any questions at all about um, my nose surgery in turkey then just let me know down below in the comments and i'll be sure to answer them all for you anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you soon we're literally sitting at just two of us even though this plane's got four seats i was like yes we're like right at the back it's <laughs> by the window yeah. Hey guys, so we got to Kaderkoi, um, so we flew back from Cappadocia last night, we got to the airport at like midnight and now here we are, we got a taxi driver and this is our apartment, it's like completely different here, so many buildings, so many sky rise buildings and it's like way more like modern and like fancy here, so yeah, I'll show you our apartment. So Becca's staying with us in here because they've got another apartment and it's a two bedroom as well. So yeah, we've got Netflix, thank goodness, because we're gonna need that. Um, nice big couch, dining. So Becca's staying in there at the moment. And we've got a nice kitchen where we can cook and stuff because we're here for the whole week. And we've got the store that we thought was broken, but it's actually a window. And like, as you can see, you kind of get a good idea of the, whoop, of the view out there. Crazy, it looks cooler at night. There's a university just there, Matt. Um, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, all out here, ooh, ooh. out here as well, I've got a bit of a view and it goes down to there. Tennis courts down there. Yeah, and we've got a gym and stuff in here as well and like a swimming pool. Yeah. So yeah, this is the Retro 9 Homes and Suites and it's really nice. The air's a bit funny, like with the air con, but I'm sure that's gonna be manageable. Hey guys, so we went to the supermarket this morning and had some food to eat. Um, I'm allowed to eat most of the day. I just have to fast for like maybe eight hours before the surgery. So that's fine because my surgery's in the morning. So I'll just have like a dinner quite early and then I'll sleep and then I just don't drink or eat until surgery, which is at eight. They've changed the consultation till six tonight. So I'm like, oh damn, I have to wait around a little bit more, but that's okay, I'm just, um yeah just relaxing and getting stuff prepared for my day tomorrow um, i might even show you my nose like in depth so here is the side angle mm -mm -mm. front and as you can see it's like kind of crooked here and it like sways to one side yeah and when i try to breathe and then this side so yeah you can see what it looks like. Um, anyway, consultation is later, so we're just gonna chill out for a little bit and maybe go to the supermarket again later and maybe eat at our accommodation because we've got the kitchen just there. So yeah. Hey guys, so I didn't film much in the consultation because, I don't know, I was just 
so occupied but I managed to get a little snippet of his office and like the simulation when I was like editing my nose um, and it looked really good it's so much better I like love what it looks like on the simulation so it's just gonna be weird like having that but on my face do you know what I mean uh, we have to go to the hospital right now it's peak hour traffic so we're just waiting for the traffic to die down a little bit and then we're gonna go so we're just eating dinner right now it's the last meal I can have um, before the surgery so because I need to like fast for seven hours so yeah um, but yeah he seemed really nice and his assistants seemed really nice and he said that I've got like good skin on my nose because I think if you have like thick skin it's harder to work with and like the swelling is more intense and stuff so my skin like apparently it's like easier to work with and then his assistants were like oh I love your accent it's so cute because <laughs> I was like I said I was from New Zealand so yeah we're gonna catch an uber to the hospital and then I'm gonna get my bloods done and then I found find out those results um in the morning so that's good I'm gonna have a good rest tonight um dinner is pretty basic we're just having chicken and pasta spinach and corn just something really healthy and yeah not gross foods i'm trying to avoid like vitamin c and like multivitamin um stuff that like encourage bruising so yeah but i had to like sign all these papers at the office so um yeah obviously you have to when you go in for surgery so yeah just for signing everything and every page and i made my payment and all that um so yeah Let's see what tomorrow brings. Like nervous, but kind of excited. Like just want my new nose already. Like look at this. Right. There's Ooh. cats everywhere in here. Should <laughs> pull on you. <laughs> look. <laughs> just got my blood test and it wasn't that bad guys. Um, I normally faint after them, but yeah, just went up. Got it in, got the vein straight away, and yeah, it's all good. His hospital. Mm. All up and ready. Um, I woke up at 4.50 and couldn't get back to sleep. I look awful right now. Can't wear makeup. Loose button shirt. Just got the Becca, Mum, Dad, and Matthew coming with me to the hospital in the beginning. And going to speak to an anaesthetist in the morning, uh, this morning, and the doctor again. Um, and yes, I'm actually not feeling um, nervous. It's really weird. Like normally I'm panicked <laughs> over these things, but um, <coughs> Becca's <is> sick. <laughs> yeah, I'm not actually that nervous. I'm more excited now. I just want it like out the way. More like slightly nervous on like how I'll be when I wake up, but like, hopefully not too like in pain or anything. But yeah, couldn't wear any makeup. Took off my nails, took off my tan, so I'm looking really weird, really white. So, see you later, guys. Let's hope this goes well. Just to make sure. Okay, this is the hospital room. Mm. <laughs> Not bad. You stay one night. If. Well, we don't know. She might feel fine, yeah. but no, you never know. It's good window. Yeah. The photo that In the arm um, now. Felt like a blood test. Like Say goodbye to, to do it. <laughs> Say goodbye to unbreathable schnauzer. Well, this is the hospital attire. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny because mum put the armhole over my head <laughs> in the beginning, so luckily back of the nurse. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Right, I just woke up guys like an hour ago they just put this ice over my face so it looks like 10 times worse than it is at the moment i've been like don't stop on drugs i've got my eye v lining as you can see yay oh my god it's so funny i can't remember like i can remember waking up in the ward like on the bed and, and they're like oh it's okay i'm like oh yeah that's easy peasy no pain at the moment just have to like ice under my eyes i can see a bruise coming already here i'm like shit don't know just that side but i already have darker dry circles as it is so it doesn't help but 
I feel like blood. Holy shit. Imagine me like in two or three days. I'm gonna be like so bruised. Cause I bruise easily. So I'm like, oh my God, look at that. All these guys came to support. So they've been feeding me <laughs> and um, what? Deliver cho yep. chocolate <laughs> and, and watching and videos. And and They're fussing. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew fed me soup to a straw. Mm -hmm. Entertaining you. Yeah. Awesome. Becca eating a chalk. Loves her chalk. What time? What's the time at Inc? It's 4.45. I look, my lips are starting to swell now. A little bit. 4.45, and this is how it looks. I'm in Dana here now. Oh. Becca, Monique, and Matthew Monique just left. Oh, yeah. I've got my dinner here. Do you want me to sit on Which the other Which looks young. It's nice, soft Anisha? food to eat. <laughs> and they gave mum and dad one. See the service. Oh. See the service in private hospital, though? Way yeah. better. Wow, yeah. look at all the it's food. Way better. Can you imagine this? Oh. Yeah, so that's me now. Yeah, so at least it's all over now, huh? You're not blocked now, that's... Yeah, I'm even, I'm gonna burn... Oh, soup. Uh, like, uh, what is this? Eggplant and, like, spinach and pass, uh, mint and stuff. Yogurt and, uh, like this rice, bread and water. And she also bought me a big water bottle. So, yay. Hey, guys, so, mum and dad and stuff just left uh, mum and dad left they stayed like half an hour longer than monique becca and matthew i don't feel sore at all she just put more um painkillers in the iv but there's no pain at all there's all the blood in the gore strip but yeah it was like such an easy experience um i'll explain more on here so like I wasn't even nervous at all, like, heading up to the surgery, which was crazy. Mum and Dad and Becca and Matthew, but he was still asleep at the hotel, so she didn't come, but they came to the hospital to send me off, um, and then they, like, watched me get taken to the lift and said bye from then. Dad got all teary-eyed, and Matthew's like, love you, and then I bloody got all teary-eyed and started getting emotional, but it's because Dad started, and they, when they were like, oh, I love you, so I was like, oh, I'd go off. I wasn't even nervous, like, they just wheeled my bed right down the corridors. Then I was in the surgery room and you see like a big light and all the tables and stuff around. And there was five people in the room. So there was a translator lady. I think that was my doctor's assistant. She was next to me talking and comforting me and uh, uh, asking me what I did for a job and stuff and what's my favorite music. And then she's like, do you want me to play music? I'm like, oh yes. And she's like, what music do you want me to play? And I was like, Snoop Dogg, which was so funny. So I literally went out being put to sleep listening to fucking Snoop Dogg and Still Dre that I was actually like laughing in the theatre room and then it was funny because like the anaesthetist came in and um I was like oh you're not Dr Hassan and he's like and she's like don't worry that's the anaesthetist because <laughs> I was like all worried it was like another bloody doctor um and then yeah they put the stuff in my arm and then they like put the mask over and she's like bye bye like waved at me um because two of the other girls couldn't speak english in there and she's like bye bye and they put the mask over the face and i was like i'm strong i'm strong like meaning that um like i didn't feel like i was getting put to sleep i was like oh weird i'm not like feeling sleepy yet because i seen all the anaesthetists put stuff in my arms so obviously it was like drugs and stuff so it's so funny i was like i'm strong i'm strong and then i would have went out after that and it was a good anaesthetist because I woke up in the ward already and I wasn't even like tired or groggy feeling or anything. Just a bit numb in like hands and feet and legs. Um, but yeah, they're like, bye bye. And then, yeah, so they wheel me back in here and I just stayed awake from like 12, 20. So my surgery was like eight, so it was like four hours. But yeah, it all went well. And I'm, I'm choosing to stay the night in the hospital just because it's a comfy bed and I don't want Matthew to accidentally knock me. And also, you get weighted on here, you know, they come in, they give you more drugs if you need, they change your little splint, uh, your little thing under your nose here. Um, so I was like, well, I don't want to go back and be doing that all myself. And I paid for the hospital night stay was included with the... Uh, price so i was like well i may as well stay here and make the most of it and get waited on <laughs> um but yeah 
I'll leave in the morning. Matthew's picking me up in a taxi. I'm just gonna watch some Love Island now and catch up on Love Island, so yay. Just currently icing the eyes. I didn't even leave on my eyes after surgery, so that was silly. But yeah, I, my lips are so swollen now, what the fuck? Look lot worse than I feel. I don't even feel any pain right now. Like it's crazy, like what the drugs could do. But yeah, no pain at all. The nurse just came in before. They're so good here. They're like so friendly and they do, like most of them speak English, some don't. Uh, but my ward nurse does, so that's handy. I'm getting really swollen now, like all like in here. Crazy, and all in here, like look how fat that is. Whoa, I'm gonna be botched in three days. I, it doesn't look so. It's not sore at all, though. Because, like all the drugs have been taken. Um, but yeah, my lips are really swollen as well. So far, the experience has been really nice. I'm so glad I came to Turkey. It's so nice here. Um, in the private hospital. Um, I'm in. I think it's called Erdem Ganilesi or something. These prices in New Zealand. It would have been so much more expensive to get this done in a private hospital. You're probably paying like. Uh, anywhere between 18 to 25,000. So, I'm tying my hair up now before she comes and gets in. We're gonna go walkies down the ward. This is the hospital attire. How cute is this gown? I just put tights underneath. You can't like see my undies through because, yeah, it kind of goes see through like that. So, yeah, I'm pretty used to breathing through my mouth anyway because I used to always be a mouth breather. So, it might not it, like it should be an issue for me. We'll see, but yeah. It's crazy how much the drugs like keep you numb because I feel no pressure on my face or anything. Like it's so bizarre. It's currently 6, 11 a.m. in the morning. I've literally had like under two hours sleep. Um, it's awful. It's mostly the noises and stuff. I'm just sleeping upright. Um, they just gave me some more. I think that's like hydration, I think. And I've got breakfast already here. This is the hospital food. Yeah, you guys have, I'm so tired. Not any pain. They gave me painkillers at like 4, 4 30 in the morning, I think. So, yeah. They get coming in to like give me ice for my swelling. So, I barely got any sleep. Hey guys, it's currently 9 o'clock, and this is what my swelling is looking like. A lot of swelling in here, which is crazy. My eyes aren't too swollen, which is good. I think the ice um, at like 4.30 this morning really helped. Um, I'm about to get this thing out. And then Matthew's picking me up. He's got a kitchen Uber and then uh, going back to the hotel. And I've got this big bag here. This, and it's like full of like antibiotics. I'll show you soon. Um, and like drugs and stuff, so yeah. Funny enough, it's been like pain free so far, but yeah, they've been putting in a lot of things in the IV, so it numbs everything. Um, but yeah, it's good for me to walk around because it helps with the swelling. So yeah, I'll probably leave here really soon after they take this out and when Matthew gets here and relax back at the hotel. Okay, so I just iced my face. My swelling's getting worse. I look at this, crazy. This is day two. It looks worse than I feel, like I don't feel any pain at all. And you can hear my like snot gurgling around in there with the blood. So anyway, I need to put on, they gave me like this whole bag of product. I've got like 10 pills to take, one in the morning, one in the evening. Um, three packs of those, like painkillers, antibiotics. I'll show you those later tonight when I'm taking them. <clears throat> but I've got this antibiotic cream for my stitches. So I have to put this on eight times a day with a, uh, oh. I shouldn't be leaving my Q-tips on the fucking bathroom. I can't get anything infected. Um, I need to clean like the stitches eight times a day with this antibiotic cream. And then I've got this ocean fresh spray. I need to spray this eight times a day as well. And I need to, I need to do these two for three weeks straight. So I'm like, oh, that's going to be a mission. But anyway, I'm going to do them right now for you guys. So, And they also gave me lots more of this bandaging, which I might change because... I know this is very like TMI and kind of gross, but obviously I know that this will help some of you guys uh, because watching nose surgeries really helped me, like nose surgery vlogs. So I've just got some micellar water. I'm just getting the dry blood off. 
I'm just going really slowly as well. This flood would have been left on from yesterday, so it probably looks worse than it is. I'm sorry, this is like really gross, but I know a lot of you guys watching this are probably like going for no surgery yourself, so you can kind of get the idea. I'm so glad I just realized that I didn't get stitches down here because some people get stitches on the side of your nostrils down here and they take way longer to heal, so I'm so glad I didn't have to do that or I didn't have to use rib cartilage for my septum because some people say that's even worse because you've got like an op just down here on your ribs as well technically if you need rib cartilage. Okay, so I need two pumps for each nostril. Apparently this is a mission and it all comes out your nose, so here goes nothing. Oh, fuck. I'm kind of scared to do this. I'm scared to bang something when I click the button. It's too hard to press. Oh my god, this is really scary. Oh, okay. I just did that one. Okay, do this one. I'm just leaving it just here. Oh, shit. Okay, that gives me a fright. <laughs> It's not sore, it's just weird. Water going up there. I need to do two. I'm trying not to put this right up my nose, which is probably how they want you to do it, but I'm scared. Oh! <laughs> and then one more. That was my little cleaning process. I do that fucking eight times a day. So that's gonna be annoying. Anyway, see you later, guys. Everyone, quick update from this morning. This is my swelling now. I like, look how fat and puffy this is and this eye whoa it doesn't even look bad on camera okay it does my whole face is getting fat um <laughs> so i made myself some mashed bananas um and i'm trying to like walk around and have my arnica tablets so yeah trust me it's not sore at all like i'm not in no pain i'm just really hungry all of a sudden now oh yeah look my face is starting to get fat all down here so this is my bed for the night. Uh, Matthew's in the other room because I can't risk sleeping next to him in case he rolls on me or knocks my cast or something. So I've literally just elevated these nice memory foam pillows and put the couch cushions here. They came with these things that like hung off them over the couch so it was like perfect. So I took these things out of these loops and stuck them on the top. So these will help me to stop like, you know, turning my head or flipping over or kind of teach me to stay in one place. So yeah, it looks like a nice little cozy setup. Hey guys, I'm looking hella crazy. Today is day three. And yes, I'm way more swollen. Look all down here, like my lower face and like my cheekbones. All my upper lip is so swollen. Uh, my bruising hasn't actually got worse though, which is good. It's actually like starting to turn from red to yellow already. So I was like, what the hell? I did not expect my body to do that. So good that I'm not going to get more bruising. It's just this eye got pretty bad just up in there. Um, but yeah, it's already turning yellow, so yay. Um, I just had a shower, I had to be really careful. I was like leaving my head back like this, I just let the water like run down the back, and I put shampoo in. It felt so good to have a wash, and I still can't wait to put fake tan on because I'm so white and I just feel look at my attire. <laughs> I just feel, um, yeah, really not myself when I'm white, and I'm gonna do my nails like, ooh, I chopped them all off for surgery because they were just all different lengths and yellow from fake tan and gross so yeah Matthew's actually just gone out he's gonna go and visit a mall with like a lake around it you like catch a boat around like the lake and stuff so that's good I told him to go and do something because he's just gonna like be wasting his time sitting in here like really bored so I told him to go and I'll be fine um because I can still walk around I can still have a shower myself get changed myself like I'm in no pain at all um it's just handy when he like cooks my dinners and stuff and I told him to go and buy some more water because I've only got like half a bottle left here, so yeah. I'll probably stay at the hotel for one more day tomorrow because I do recommend that you stay at the hotel for four days. Um, and then I will um, probably go out in the streets looking crazy with my cast on, um, but tomorrow or the next day, so yay. Plus we've seen a few people like walking around with tape and stuff, so yeah, it's like so normal here. Oh. Hello. Cleaner's about to come in and clean the room. Um, I did tidy up, so that's good. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. I might pop on here tonight, if not um, tomorrow, and show you how I am. I don't want this vlog to go for too. Here it is. 
there is today's breakfast, banana mash and frozen berries with the yogurt. I can eat like harder things in this, but this I've just been craving bananas, so this is good. Maybe low potassium. <laughs> And the yogurt's quite nice. I've been having the strawberry ones and the apricot. So this is technically day the start of day four. Um, and I'm pretty much still swollen, as you say. It's actually on the side of my face. Oh my god, look how fat it is. That's insane. <laughs> but my bruising is slightly getting better. It probably doesn't look like it to you guys. But it is because the like redness is going away. See, it's like turning like yellowy now, which is the last stage of bruising so once all of that turns yellow um i'll be able to um conceal it a little bit more easily i'm just wearing this today my fitness gear has been so good i'm gonna fake tan probably tonight as well so i feel a bit more normal i'm gonna do like my nails and my toes because i'm all natural so you can see the sun's out oh my god look how dirty those windows are the sun is out. Um, so yeah, I bought a VPN last night so I can watch Love Island on Neon New Zealand. Because when you're in another country, you can't watch it. So I'm going to do that. Um, watch some Love Island, catch up on the finale. And then if I'm feeling fine, if my swelling has gone a little bit more down, then I'm going to go out into the street tomorrow. Because I want to make the most of my time here. But I want to do it smartly. Like I won't go out tomorrow if they really don't recommend it. And if I'm still looking like a balloon. Oof. Feels like all I'm doing is cleaning, cleaning, cleaning at the moment. So I was like, I'm so blocked up. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna clean. Matthew's actually gone out to, to attack some square by himself. So said, be safe. Um, he's, ooh, sorry guys, this is TMI. Like, not TMI, just looks gross. <laughs> um, but anyway, Matthew's going out to attack some square by himself today um, and seeing like the tax and mosque and seeing the streets and go out for lunch so that's nice I didn't want him to just sit around here with me like he's gonna be so bored so it's nice that he's got the confidence to go out himself and do something I'm getting more confident with the uh oh duh uh -huh. I'm getting more confident with the cleaning rituals, as you can see. My bruising's already like turning yellow, which is good as well. I don't feel like that goes in my nose. Hang on, they're straight up higher. Ooh. See, I don't flinch now. I remember when I did it the first time, I was like so scared. It's funny because this nostril is pretty like clean and dry the whole time, it's just this one. Which is annoying. Uh, but anyway, this is the full cleaning routine. It just looks dirty here because there's like dried blood on the top tape. I've gone through like half a puddle of these already. Yeah, I guess this nose job vlog is like extremely in depth for you guys. So hopefully it's helpful. For those of you who are thinking about getting your nose done or your septum straightened or whatever. Anyway, I'm going to go and watch some La Bala now, send some emails, and yay! Hey guys, it's day five after my septum rhinoplasty and all is going well. Still no pain or anything. I'm starting to get like a little bit of an itch like in here and here. Sometimes it only lasts for a few seconds. Apparently that's really frustrating for people. It usually comes on like day five and six, so that's gonna be annoying but anyway I did fake tan last night because I didn't feel myself at all I just did two layers of bond nose sands ultra dark and I'm just gonna put a bit of foundation on my face today I know I shouldn't really wear makeup but I want to match my face to my body as you can see my face is still really swollen especially this side but that will go within well not within a week but most of it goes after a week um, and this is only day five Bruising um, is still kind of the same as yesterday, maybe turning a little bit more yellow, but it's going like around my whole eyes now. And my skin looks so bad, it's just this lighting. There, yeah, that's a bit better, I think. Um, so anyway, I'm going to put on some makeup because we're going to go to the aquarium here in Bakakoi. Um, 
so it's not far away but i didn't want to just sit in my hotel again i'm so bored i've got no pain i think five days is safe enough to go out and explore and matthew was saying that he's been seeing heaps of people with like nose tapes and casts on their faces walking around and even in this stage so yeah it should be fine as long as i'm taking it easy and it's raining today so at least the aquarium's inside and then maybe we'll check out a mall so Yay. Okay, hi all. So I put it on a little bit of makeup. I know I still look so swollen down here, uh, which is really crazy, but I don't feel so embarrassed now to go out. So yeah, I just attempted to put foundation on and concealer underneath, and even though you can see that I'm like trying to hide from everything, it's obviously obvious, but I don't feel as like disturbing. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, it's pretty windy today. But anyway, we're going to go to the aquarium. I've got to put like my bandage under here as well today um because yeah i don't want it leaking can't wait for this fucking cheek to bugger off it's so swollen but anyway i feel a lot more like myself and i can kind of tell what it will look like from the side i'm gonna be so happy okay anyway i better go guys mate hey guys this is an update day six my lower face is still slightly puffy i do have a little bit of concealer on under my eyes this is lip stain by the way not blood i think i don't know um, so we're just doing lots of things today. We're going to like Hagia Sophia, Suleimani Mosque, um, Seraphai, something like assistant. So lots of things. And, but yeah, this is going well today. I can see my swelling's like gone way down in here and in my eyes, which is good. I think it was from all the walking yesterday. Um, but we got back quite late, so yeah. Um, I didn't go to sleep till like 12. 45 so i was pretty tired so i was a little bit wait, late waking up this morning but that's all good at least i had a little quiet morning so yeah so far so good and then i get this bad boy off tomorrow so i can't wait for that hey guys so update i put on makeup today because this evening um i'm getting my cast removal so i'm really looking forward to that but today we're venturing um out to balat and doing lots of sightseeing so i'm wearing something nice obviously i'm like gonna put on like a jacket and scarf and gloves it's still really cold here um but i'm gonna take that off for the photos and i thought i'd put on makeup for my cast removal reveal and i feel so much better like as you can see here i feel so normal like i'm not really swollen anymore maybe a little bit here in the lower face and obviously we'll still hold a lot of swelling in the nose but doing good so far it's it's gross in there but i can actually clean in there properly I'm obviously getting more confident with like walking around and stuff. Still no pain at all. I had a little bit of pressure like up here when I had like big days of walking and a little bit like of a, not a stingy feeling, a slightly burny feeling here yesterday um, before I took like painkillers and that was about it. So literally pain free and insane. My doctor is amazing. But anyway, can't wait for the reveal and I'll take you guys along with me later tonight. I'll try and get Matthew to film some snippets. Just heading to get my cast removed now at Atakoi Towers, finally, six days later. It's the 30th today and I had mine on the 24th. I'm a little bit nervous, like apparently it can be quite tender when they clean and take your cast off, but should be all good. And I just took a painkiller just in case, so let's hope everything looks good. Even though when you first take it off, just warning you, it does look really swollen and fat and wide and slightly lifted because it hasn't like healed properly yet. It will take up to like a whole year to show the final result. So just keep that in mind. Extreme pain. Oh, um, if you want, you can. Take uh, jacket? Yeah, I got nice. I'll just take the film. Tell she's nervous. <laughs>
like your result. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't hurt, that's good. Okay, I'm sorry. Thanks, I'll be doing a video of the shit when I was there, so I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, is it so much better? I can tell it will be good when it's not swollen. Oh, yeah. oh it's so much better than shape. I like it. <laughs> when it's not swollen. <laughs> oh, it's so straight, it's crazy. Hey guys, so just got back to our hotel. This is the Segal Aga Konegi Metro Hotel and it's five star. It's super fancy. So anyway, Dr. Hassan Emery Kokak, I think that's how to say his name properly, um, removed the cast today. It didn't hurt at all, even though I was worried that it would hurt, but it didn't at all. Um, and then he just taped my nose. I'm like so happy with it. Obviously, it's really fat right now and swollen. Like when you touch it like here, it's so squishy. Like you feel all the fluid there, which is insane. And then obviously like this is all like from the side, this is all like really high. Uh, not really high, but it's a little bit high because of all the swelling. But I'm so happy with it. Like it looks so good even like this, which is insane. Um, and I'm glad because it still looks like me, just a little bit different. So like I am very, very happy. My whole family loved it as well. Like when they all came to the hotel here a few hours ago. Um, Mum and Dad really liked it and Becca and Monique, even though I said like it's still so swollen and everything, like it looks a big and fat, but just the shape, kind of the shape of it and like the evenness of it, like is insane. Like it is so perfect, like my nostrils, it just looks really good because I used to have lapsed nostrils, which is insane. So I'm really happy. Um, so yeah, when I got to the clinic, he just removed the cast. He told me information i didn't even have splints in my nose i thought i had to take splints out but that's only for people who like get their nose bridges like built up and need like support on the inside so i actually didn't need that at all i just have to wait for my incisions here to heal up and funny enough as soon as he took the cast off my nose i feel like i'm naturally like breathing up my nose a little more and it hasn't leaked like out of this nostril since getting the cast off except from like just before it was like a little bit but Maybe that's because I'm like naturally breathing through my nose a little more. Maybe it's because there's this pressure of the cast. Like, I don't really know. But anyway, I wanted to be something nice because he got lots of videos and photos. Photos with me and videos like panning around my face. And he uploads all of these to Instagram. And he's got quite like a big Instagram following, like 126,000. And then one account he's like, a hundred thousand or something yeah so he's got like two accounts he's well known and well loved on there um so yeah i wanted to look a little bit nice and obviously like for the reveal so i'm not like eh. um but yeah apparently lots of people say you take your cast off and you hate it um because it's so small and it looks so different but like it's funny i took it off and like my mind was mentally prepared for this hey guys i've been absent for a few days this is nine days after surgery as you can see a lot of my bruising has disappeared um it's just like these bits here the, this isn't bruising under here that's just my natural dark under eye circles we've had early morning wake-ups and busy full days but this is what i have left like these bruising this bruising just here it's fading by the minute though my nose looks so good like i was just saying to matthew before it's crazy like i look at myself in the mirror and just i'm obsessed even though it's freaking swollen i can just see what it looks like it's straight 
I feel like I look so pretty. Uh, but I love it how it's not too lifted either. Like it's a perfect like height. My nostrils from the front. So I'm like so in love. Um, and as you can see, it's still really swollen. Like, it, and there's a little bit of bruising like appearing here. Like it's quite yellow and a little bit of purple on the top. And it's still a little bit tender. So he gave me this big roll of tape. So I'm about to tape up my nose. So... Maybe I'll show you how I tape my nose. Hey guys, this is the best you're gonna get because I'm balancing my phone on the blow dryer. Um, but I still use this spray. I have to use this for another like uh, week and a half um, and the um, cream. So I go, rooms down my face every time. I don't know if there's an easy way to do this. I always notice that my nose gets a bit more clear and I can breathe up a bit more when I use this because there's like all the tubes on the inside are swollen as well as the outside. So yeah. I do that and then sometimes like I know it says two pumps but sometimes I'll go up and like give another. I have to do this eight times a day by the way so Lot of maintenance, but it's only three weeks and I've already done it for nine days, so no biggie. And I get no blood now and I don't have to wear like that bandage under my nose. It was so random, like after I took the cast off, like I just stopped like leaking. Maybe it's because like I naturally just started breathing through my nose and felt more normal without the cast. And it could like slightly sniff up. Even though I can't like, I can't blow my nose for like two months and that's a nightmare, but... There we go. Hey guys, I'm back again. So we're back in New Zealand. It was 26 hours of flight time. Wasn't too bad. Like the Emirates plane on the way back from Dubai to Auckland was so big. Like it had so much more leg room by about like 10 centimeters, which makes such a difference. Um, I was so tired. I only had like maybe five and a half hours sleep though. And like the whole 26 hours of travel time. Um, but anyway, we're home safe and sound. I'm so jealous because the rest of the family's in Singapore right now for four days before they head home. I so wish I went there with them. Um, that would have been really cool, but Matthew's got work tomorrow, he's got night shifts, so back to reality for him. And I have got another maybe like two weeks off. I'm just going to wait until all my swelling is gone and my bruising um, before I start getting into collaborations again. Because I obviously want it to like look really good and its best self before I like start putting my face out there. So yeah, and as you can see, the nose is already taking place. I think the swelling's already gone down. I sound really blocked up because I am blocked up. Apparently it can take up to two months to like breathe properly through your nose and obviously like smell properly as well because like I have no sense of smell at the moment, which is really weird and it's annoying because I can't taste things properly. Um, but that's all normal and that happens to a lot of people. So yeah, I just have to be patient. Obviously my nose is still really swollen from the front, but I feel like it's gone down heaps. That's like not bruising here, that's just my under eye circles. And this is just the leftover bruises, this redness just here. And they're quite like, they look like varicose veins, so hopefully they go away. But anyway, I'm so happy with my nose, how it is even now. I'll just show you from the side. I've obviously got no makeup on, so I look a bit crazy and I look really tired. Um, so yeah, but I'm like already really happy with how it looks without the tape on. I'm going to tape my nose at the moment. Hey guys, so it is two weeks post-op today and I'm so happy with the results. My bruising has pretty much like disappeared as you can see. I've only got little red marks like just here and here now. I've been putting on bruising cream, um, but I'm like so happy with how it looks. It's crazy. Like... I feel like lots of the swelling's gone. It's just a little bit squishy still in the sides. And in, on like this area here, as you can see, it's like a bit fatter out the side and you can feel that it's harder. So it's swollen like through that side, but the stitches are fading really nicely. They're not like fully dissolved yet. Um, don't mind my skin, it looks bloody terrible. And I'm like, I've got patchy fake tan on still from the plane flight. So just ignore that, but yeah. All has been going well. I did um, laminate and tint my eyebrows and tint and curl my lashes yesterday. And I really like the way it looks. 
I did that because I wanted to feel a little bit more normal um, when I had my makeup on. Oh, this lighting's really weird. This is it from the side. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit more curved when the swelling goes and the tip's going to be a little bit softer and a little bit down. So, yay. And this side. And my nostrils are starting to get a little bit more even, like with this little piece here. This is just all swelling, so yeah. Um, but they say 70% of swelling goes in three weeks. And next Friday, it would have been three weeks. So I've got one week to go. Um, a few people want to see me for Easter weekend. But I've just put them off and I'm just going to stay at home another week because I don't want to present myself until I'm like fully fully happy with my results obviously it takes like up to a whole year but I've got thin skin I have a feeling it won't take much longer for the swelling to disappear so yeah I'm just gonna wait one more week and hoping that the sides here go down a little bit obviously it looks like a bit bigger without the tape on hey guys so it's day 19 after surgery everything's going well everything's healing well it's still really swollen like in the sides here um but the tip i feel like is going down and more in shape um yeah everything looks good it's funny because i can change that like it looks like it's really like pointy here but it's just because the tape's been over it so like forces the swelling to come up here in the tip but yeah I'm like so happy with it it looks so good um uh yeah so I just tape my nose every night it obviously keeps the swelling down and I can like manipulate how my tip looks by putting the tape in like different areas of my nose um I even put the tape over the tip sometimes to keep it down um but yeah all is going good apart from my body is not going good because look what I tested for yesterday COVID! Can you believe that? I was like, what the hell? I woke up and I was like, I'm really headachy. And then the previous like day, day or two, I was like sneezing more often. And then I had like a slight itchy throat that night. And I was like, well, this is weird. And then my nose was so runny. Like it wasn't snotty. It was just runny like a waterfall. And I was like, these are the same exact symptoms I had when I had COVID the first time. Um, and it was around this time last year, maybe like a little bit sooner. It was like mid-March. I got COVID last time. And it was when we got back from the South Island after after the airport and the plane. So I was like, oh my gosh, trust me to get it. But none of the other family have it. Um, they kind of did have like coughing symptoms um, throughout the trip, but they said it was maybe the pollution. But they tested in the negative, so... I was just the unlucky one and Matthew got COVID like maybe two months ago um three months ago so hopefully fingers crossed that he won't get it from me again but he's currently just finishing night shifts and he's just having a snooze so I'm like I have to be stuck inside for another week um but at least it forces me to heal even more and it forces me to rest and I was just gonna have a quiet week anyway um so yeah I'm going to get into my collaborations next week anyway, but I can't wait to wear some makeup. This pimple is so gross. It's like come out of nowhere. It's huge. So yeah, don't mind that. I should be touching it. Guys, I thought I would come and update you. So this has been 24 days after surgery and I've done some content today. So today was the first day that I actually like did some photos and stuff for a brand and got glammed up and yeah I in the beginning I was like okay I feel really weird like I don't know if I like how I look with like my makeup on I don't know I think because I like had no makeup and I was natural for so long I, I feel like I look weird with makeup on I don't know if, I don't know if it's just this hairstyle hey guys I thought I would update you here on the vlog because it has been pretty much four weeks since I've had my septum rhinoplasty um in two more days it would have been four weeks so I thought I would update you guys because I don't think much is going to change from now um it's going to take like a long haul like with the swelling so it is still swollen like in the sides here it's like really squishy I'll take the tape off soon and show you guys but if you like didn't know me then you wouldn't know my nose is swollen do you know what I mean like it still looks fine it's all healing really well you can see like underneath here is just a bit red um, but that will go away in time. But yeah, this is how it looks like. Very happy with that. Looks so cute from the side as well, like this. Like I'm so used to seeing like a bump on my nose, and my breathing is much better too.
right now it feels a little bit blocked but it, my nose doesn't like clamp in so i know that um in time in a few months like when the swelling goes down the inside and stuff my breathing's gonna be so much better the side the side's like quite cute i like the side because i feel like it's more like curved the side yay i'm honestly so happy like how is he so good like obviously this this is normally all straight it's just because there's a bit of swelling up here because i stuck the tape on a bit funny last night all angles i love it's crazy because i feel like i've already gotten so much more confidence already i'm on angles that i would have never like put myself on like when i'm sitting with people it's crazy you you won't know this unless you do have like a nose insecurity but like i used to never show people this side of my nose i'd always used to like turn and like face another way because i didn't want them to see like my bad side of my nose it's really weird but anyway i can't wait to breathe properly and it looks so cute um i'm gonna take the tape off just so you can kind of get an idea without the tape so i quickly contoured my nose excuse this line here that's from the tape because it was on quite tight there hence why um it's made like this like swelling bump just here um but anyway this is what it looks like contoured so if you didn't know me my nose would look completely normal and that contouring effect works i just put powder down here down here some underneath and some there and then i did concealer but yeah look at that the contouring looks good so yeah this is the result i'm honestly super happy my doctor is dr emery kokak on Instagram I will leave his details all down below in the description bar but he's a magician honestly a magician this stuff is so hard to do like reshaping noses and stuff so he's like amazing like, look how straight it looks from the front um, I'm obviously not gonna hire my doctor like some people do uh, I really trusted him I did a lot of research but obviously like if you guys are getting this done it's up to you to do your own research and find who you like because every doctor has their own like kind of style especially if you get it over um in turkey so yeah but anyway this turned out like really good and i'm really happy and i can't wait for the rest of the swelling to go down like it still feels really squishy in here so obviously like you'll see that it will be more defined like this contour line but see how it like comes out a bit here and here so like this will all be way more like squished in like this because you can see that it's like coming out a bit very happy and i am so stoked with the results and everything just went so good i can't believe i got no pain i should have done this years ago obviously i'm this is my experience and this video isn't to encourage surgery in any way but obviously if you can't breathe through your nose or are insecure about your nose or have some kind of issues and you've been wanting this done then honestly just go for it like there's nothing to lose like it's honestly life-changing and i felt so confident already yay i'm so happy like what the fuck i should have done this so long ago but anyway i'm gonna end this vlog before this goes on way too long i hope you guys liked this video and give it a thumbs up if you did ask me any questions down below i might also do like a septoronoplasty q and a on like instagram for you guys or maybe on like youtube i might do like a youtube video on it because i know heaps of you guys will be curious but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this and yeah next week i'll be uploading my turkey vlog so keep an eye out for that because it's full of fun and antics and adventures and it was so much fun so anyway i hope you guys like this and i'm so happy and I will see you guys in my next week's video.